Hello and welcome to today's tutorial on Nova Wallet. Now Nova Wallet is a third-party wallet for Polkadot, Kusama and the rest of the ecosystem which includes all the different parachains. We'll be looking at how you can create a wallet and how we can navigate through the different features that the wallet has to offer. Now I will be posting a link in the description of this video and also in the pinned comment to the website for Nova Wallet so you can download it on your mobile phone. Now it is available on the iPhone and also on Android. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to create a new wallet once we open up the app for the first time or we can import a wallet if we already have one there's also the option to connect the hardware wallet using the party signer or ledger and also you can add the watch only wallet if you want to track any wallet by its address but in this case we'll be creating a brand new wallet we'll assume we don't actually have one now the next thing we do is we need to add a nickname for the wallet so let's give it a nickname in this case it's going to be test nova then we select continue and now it's telling me that it's going to show me the mnemonic phrase okay we hit i understand and here is the mnemonic passphrase now i need to actually write this down unfortunately before i can continue so i'll write this down now the next thing we do is we hit continue and here we need to re-enter the mnemonic passphrase in the same order that we got it so this is just a check to make sure that everything is okay and that we did actually take note of it and then we don't regret that we've sent assets here and then we lose them because we didn't uh, write down one of the words properly or something like that. Okay, we've entered it, let's hit continue now and here we go, we can see the wallet name up on the top left hand corner with a total balance and with all the different coins that are available. You can see Dot is the first one, Kusama is the second, the price is also shown up as well which is pretty cool. Then we've got Akala, uh, we've got all the different assets within Akala which are all the different tokens, then we've got Aleph Zero, we've got Altair, Amplitude, Astar and all of the different uh, supported tokens within it again. Uh, where, where you're actually seeing here are the tokens under a specific parachain. So Aster is the coin, ACA is the token. It's not, it's not the official coin of Akala because it's under the Aster parachain. Okay, just to make that clear. And then all the different variations here. You can see we've got Bajun or Bayun, we've got Basilisk, we've got Bifrost on Kusama, Bifrost on Polkadot, BitCountry Pioneer, and also the Bit token is supported here by Nova Wallet which isn't actually supported on the official Polkadot web wallet, unfortunately, with Polkadot.js, Calamari, Centrifuge. So, so the list of parachains here is quite huge, as you can see. We've got pretty much everything you want to have here. Now to transfer, you just simply select the coin, in this case DOT, for example. Uh, you go to send, and now you just need to enter the address. Again, you can paste this address if you had copied it in your clipboard, or you can scan it uh, by selecting the QR code scanner on the right-hand side next to paste. Uh, that's one of the options as well or you could choose to send them to another one of your wallets as you can see there's the your wallets uh, drop down there on the uh, top there above paste uh, so then of course you choose the amount of dot that you want uh, to send and then after that you just hit continue and you send so that's how it is and then for receiving again this is the QR code you can share this QR code so that you can send your coins from an exchange maybe or from another person who wants to scan your QR code and send you some dot Again, it's the same if you want to do it for KSM or for the others. Uh, then there's the buy option. So they're actually partnered with uh, some uh, payment providers. You can use Mercury.io or Transact if you are interested in purchasing DOT directly with Fiat. Now, one of the next options here is vote. If we hit on vote here, we could see uh, Kusama Open Governance. And we can see all the different referendums that are ongoing at the moment. And what's cool about this is that if you actually uh, hit one of these, so if you actually check it, uh, you could see the um, information, the requested amount as well. Okay, this is a treasury referendum. It does show you here what it is worth, uh, what it is in KSM. It's going to get rejected in 21 hours and 15 minutes. Well, in reality, it is going to pass, right? Uh, as you can see, the I vote is 79.09%. However, to pass, you need 50%. Uh, it's saying that it's rejected because of the threshold. As you can see, we've got a threshold of 10,674 KSM out of 11,619, but it is dropping, okay, with every passing block. And so once it goes below that threshold of 10,674, then it's going to change to passing, of course, and uh, that's pretty much it. You can also vote through here and you can leave a comment by connecting through Polk Assembly or Subsquare. So it is pretty cool here. Uh, let's go back here. 
Uh, the uh, other thing that you can do is you can go to crowd loans. So you can see all the different active crowd loans. Now we don't actually have too many. We've only got hash network and there was an issue with this one. So it doesn't actually apply. But if we had uh, an actually active crowd loan that we could take part in, we would just uh, select it basically. It would tell us the leasing period, the network fee. Uh, we could enter our dot here if we had dot. It would have to be at the very least five dot. And remember you need to have at least 1.1, 1.2 dot in your wallet one to keep it alive and then some for the transaction fees so let's say we would uh, have i don't know five dot uh, we could actually take part and then we could contribute and then we just hit continue uh, it does tell me i don't have enough dot okay but it even tells me the network fee and the leasing period here here as well so it is pretty cool uh, as you can see it does show you all the other uh, parachain auctions and uh, the different crowd loans that happened as well if we scroll down here again if we click on this uh, if we select the three dots, we can choose between Kusama and Polkadot. Okay, we are on Kusama one now, so we can see Bayou Network was one of the last ones that completed. Amplitude, Parallel, Heiko, etc. Right, so that's pretty cool. Next up, let's go to DApps. And here in the DApps section, this is really awesome because what this does is this basically integrated all the different DApps that are available within the ecosystem from the different parachains. It's on not only the parachains, but also the layer two DApps, which are built on top of those parachains. So for example, DApps, which are built on top of a star, on top of Moonbeam, may be integrated into Nova which means that you can access the DEX, for example, BeamSwap, which is a DEX on top of Moonbeam, so it's a layer two uh, DAP, which you can actually access directly from Nova. It's pretty cool, it just, and it takes you straight to their link there, which is app.beamswap.io, and then you can connect with your Nova wallet. It even tells me here I can allow it or I can reject it. If I'm not interested, again, I'm not interested uh, because I'm just uh, not interested, right? It's just a test. But this is, these are all the different dubs that we've got available here. Everloot, as you can see the game there. Uh, Killed Stake Board, Canaria. So there's quite a lot of it, even Mangara X. So yeah, I mean, a lot, a lot of dubs here available to us to try it out. Uh, the next option here is staking. Okay, so what's cool about staking is that you can choose to stake with different parachains as well, not only with Polkadot and Kusama here. So for example, Touring Network, uh, which is one I've done a video on recently. In fact, I did a video on Oak Network, but I've also mentioned Touring Network, which is their canary because this is trading. It tells you what the estimated tour earnings are. If you are to stake, 92.77%. Uh, you need a minimum stake of 50 tour. If you want to stake, the number of active delegators, 2,857. The amount that's being staked, Staking period is unlimited. The unstaking period is about one day and 11 hours. Okay, those changes you saw earlier it was one day and nine hours. You just uh, select start staking here, then you enter the amount. You can choose the collator, of course. Uh, we can scroll down and look for one of the collators, like I'm currently staking with Polka House, but it's not showing here, maybe because they're not actually uh, verified. I think you need to have a verified account to actually show here. So, for example, uh, SIK here, SIK, he is uh, one of the validators that I'm aware of as well. He's also on Kusama. Uh, so for example, let's say I had 100 tour, I could just do that and it would tell me what I could expect in terms of AP war. Okay, so um, once you do that, you just hit continue. Again, it'll tell me I don't have enough balance, but if I did, that's how I would do it. I would sign the transaction and I'd be done. Uh, okay, this is pretty cool. Now, if you go to Polkadot here, uh, one of the things that you need to keep in mind with Polkadot is the minimum stake okay it's 263 dot and this does change quite a lot okay this is staking directly with a validator now unfortunately it's not possible to stake with a pool here so you can only stake directly with the validator or nova wallet for now i'm assuming they're going to create that option where you'll be able to stake with one of the pools and then with that in that case you won't actually need that much dot you could even do it with as little as 10 dot for example right if you didn't actually have 263 maybe not everyone has 1.7k worth of dot that they want to stake maybe they have like a couple of hundred bucks right so yeah you can see the estimated dot earnings here if you are staking 1.52 percent apr per month or 20.15 percent uh, annual uh, again you can select the, what you want to stake okay you can choose to restake the rewards or you can choose to transfer the rewards so here you could see that it does change now so it's not 20 percent anymore uh, transferable rewards would be less so 17.1 percent and then you can choose which account you want to transfer it to and of course the amount of dot that you want to stake you continue and that's it you sign the transaction so that's pretty cool again this is an estimated earning i guess that it does change uh, i'm not sure why it's not up to date with the uh, the amount that you see when you go to restake rewards because ultimately should be 18.64 percent uh, but that's how it is okay again for kusama 
uh, the limit is very very low okay it's not like with polkadot so a lot more people can stick Usama directly with the validator whereas with polkadot that's why we've got the pools now because of that large cap minimum cap that you need to reach in order for uh, for you to be able to stick so here as you can see you only need three dollars and 65 cents worth of kusama 0.1 to be able to stake again it does take seven days to unstake if you want to unstake and the estimated annual return is 19.5 percent again if you are compounding but if we go to start staking here we could see the real value so 16.32 percent for restaking and 15.12 percent if we want to make sure that they're transferable okay the other option that we've got here is settings if we go to settings you can see your wallets you could choose the currency that you want to show you could choose the language that you want to show uh, also save mode you can change your pin code uh, you can also access the nova wallet telegram group or twitter as well uh, you can see them on youtube you can rate them you can send them an email you can go directly to their website or to their github so this is pretty cool and it even shows you the version of the wallet so that you can see if you're up to date or not that's been it from today's short tutorial of Nova Wallet. As you can see, it is very, very straightforward. So that's been it. As you can see, this is a pretty cool wallet. It's very useful. It's easy to use. And I hope you found this informative. Let me know in the comments below what do you think. Are you going to use Nova Wallet or are you already using it? And what do you think of it so far? Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.